The CWP-5 circle welder machine from Buggo is designed to do saddle welds on a variety of work pieces. The machine is supported by what is normally considered to be a nozzle and will weld the nozzle onto round cylinders, spherical shapes, flat shapes, just about anything. Um, can also do inside contours as well. The machine is totally self-contained. Uh, you can see just looking over the machine, we've got the, the center housing of the machine, the center shaft. Inside here are all the slip rings for carrying the welding current, um, the control current, the AC. Also there's a center hole down through with O-rings to carry shielding gas, compressed air, depending on what the application is. Main component trees, it comes complete with a complete wire feeder, guiding cable assembly. Can be set up for MIG, uh, flex core, sub arc. The main control box, broken down basically into three sections. Wire feeder controller, programming center, and the operation center. The torch support is a hardened ways racking system. Horizontal adjustment in and out is manual can be preset and also used for multiple pass for repositioning the torch each pass. The vertical is motorized and encoder position, working with the program to create the rise and fall required depending on the type of um, application. The unique feature of the programmable CW5 is that since we are no longer using the mechanical cam assembly, the applications are virtually limitless. Three basic types of alignments here are on center, top dead center such as this, where the center line of the minor pipe is the same diameter as the main vessel. It's on the same center line. We can have a hillside where the nozzle is completely off center of the center line. Here it would only require one large fall and rise. Again fully programmable. Uh, a third type of fit up before now we could not do with mechanical cams is a, is a partial offset where the nozzle is offset on the workpiece however a portion of the nozzle still crosses the center line of the main workpiece. This requires a small rise and fall and a large rise and fall. We couldn't do that with mechanical cams but now with the programmable controller it's very very simple to do. The machine is supported to the workpiece with a variety of different size chucks. The CW5 itself will do 1 to 12 inch diameter range. We have machines that will go all the way up to 50 inch diameter depending on the application. It's rated at 500 amp continuous duty cycle and the connection to the power source is fairly basic which allows uh, a variety of power sources to be used. Simply have a two wire contactor circuit and three wires for 110 AC input. So very simple five wire connection. Now we'll take a look at the controller itself. The CWP5 controller is broken into three main sections. We've got the operation control center, the programming center, and the wire feed control. On the wire feed control side we can see we've got very basic wire feed control. Digital readouts for volts and amps or current. We've got wire feed speed, adjustable on the fly, wire direction, we've got an auxiliary switch here if the unit is supplied with a flux recovery system, pre-flow, post-flow, purge cold inch, and burn back of the wire for the end of the weld. On the control side, we've got again a digital readout of speed. Now this is set for 0 to 100 percent of, of set speed. It is simply a reference number. Uh, it's very, you can't set it for a say inches per minute or centimeters per minute because if you change the diameter that your torch is running, that of course changes your surface inches per minute. So it's simply a reference number. So based on the diameter you're running, you, you, you set the puddle you want, record the reference number, you've got a good number to, for your weld speed. And again, that is adjustable on the fly. Three push buttons. We have a home position or reset button. When the machine is put into its start position, you reset the machine and now the machine is sitting at zero point and that's where the program will start. The stop pause button, which allows the machine to be jogged to any start position. 
can also be used to stop the weld if there's a problem with the wire. Uh, it's just a pause, it does not reset the program, so you can resume again. And of course the start and the resume button starts the cycle or resumes it if for some reason the program was stopped in midpoint. We have a normal and mirror image switch. Normal is clockwise rotation and some applications require multiple direction or bi-directional welding. So you can set a program up, run it through the normal, if necessary to weld the opposite direction. For, for instance, if we're doing 6 to 12s on a very far offset nozzle, you can use the mirror image switch to reverse your direction. Four-way jog, rotation, left and right, and your vertical up and down. Reset seal on the circuit breaker, pilot light, main power switch on and off, and weld contact on and off. With this in the off position, we can run everything dry for testing um, to make sure everything's right before we live weld. The programming center is very simple. Letters A through E are used. For instance, A is if you're building a whole new program, it's for all segments. B allows you to edit one part of the program. C allows you to call up a stored program. You can store up to 99 different programs in the machine. You press C, enter the program number you want, it's ready to run. D for display, and then of course numbers for entering different values. We'll take a look at the current program for this application by pressing D, and we'll see that we have a small diameter request first. That's set at 9.63, which is the OD of the nozzle. The next value will be the large diameter, which is the diameter of the vessel that we're welding to. The third parameter is offset, and we talked about this a minute ago. If the nozzle is top dead center, the offset is zero. That offset can be set in the program if there is an offset there. And it's a good time to mention that all parameters, if they are English, they're programmable down to one hundredth of an inch. If you're set in metric, it's programmable down to a tenth of a millimeter. The fourth parameter is overlap distance. After welding around, to finish the weld off nicely, you don't want to start and stop at the exact same point. You can set up a degree of overlap. We currently have this one set at 15 degrees of overlap so that you blend the beginning and the end of the weld together nicely. We also have a start degree. When we're doing a simple on-center weld like this, start degree would normally be zero. You'd start at top dead center and weld around and then overlap. Other applications may require a different start degree. For instance, a fully offset nozzle where you've got a very dramatic rise and fall. You, um, simple physics will not allow you to do a vertical down weld and then a vertical up weld and obtain good results. So in some instances like this, the weld must start down at the 6 o'clock position or 90 degree position, negative 90 depending on the application, but you can set your angle, your degree angle of start so the machine understands its relationship to the workpiece. The last parameter that can be set is the number of passes. Whether you're doing a simple single pass or a multiple pass, you can program to do up to 99 continuous weld passes. The other, some of the other buttons here aren't used because this is a multiple use pendant, but again, uh, A through D and then your numbers, enter key of course, and the display. Okay, we now have the CWP5 in position to do a live weld. We've got the program set for the ri proper rise and fall for a 9 and 5 eighths nozzle on a 3 foot diameter tank. So the saddle weld geometry will be done automatically through the encoder position feedback. Power source is on, we've purged, we've got our contactor circuit enabled. We'll press our reset to make sure we're at home position. Press the green start button and begin the weld. The torch can be repositioned during the live weld, either through using the torch angle adjuster or the horizontal racking.
We're now approaching our start point. You'll notice it'll overlap the start point. We've got it set to overlap about 15 degrees. Blends the start and stop in very nicely. Once it shuts down, it'll come back to the zero point. Ready for the next pass. For more information on the CWP5 and other great Bugo products, contact your local Bugo distributor or visit us at bugo.com.